Hello everyone. This is a new update regarding to if you are uh, wanting to do, take your license for the class A uh, or class B license. Um, DMV for the Fontana branch will have a new rule coming up which is um, that you have to for the uh, for the pre-trip section you're going to be tested on the entire truck no longer just only particular section a b or c so you're going to do the entire truck tr uh, practice the backup now regarding to the skill there's going to be new uh, new format for the skill and i'm going to go over that with you okay here is the uh, new um, added on supplement to our current um, DMV book itself, the handbook. So as you can see, uh, make sure it's January 2023 and make sure that um, the vehicle inspection section. So two parts uh, for the changes. One is the inspection. Instead of you're gonna have A, B and C, you're gonna do pretty much everything, all entire, the whole truck uh, you're gonna be testing on. So no more gas, just only on certain section. The entire truck itself, you gotta make sure you memorize it um, and uh, go through them. However, now memorize, um, you memorize them and the good part is, I'm gonna show you in a minute, okay? Now you're going to have um, a one changes, I think that is a beneficial, uh, it's this page itself. As you can see, if you're a class A student, uh, that you're get, taking the class A, for the tractor and trailer or the tractor just the bus or the trailer the checklist okay so the checklist itself you can take this with you in other words you can bring this paper into the uh, dmv uh, for the test however you cannot have any writing make sure just the way it is brand new condition and um, so you can bring it to the test because it says here uh, that you are only required to inspect a uh, CDL checklist, okay? And you may use the checklist for your tests and check off items as you have completed them. So that's give you an extra bonus there. So you can bring this paper with you uh, at, to, the, the, to the test and just so that this way you can mem uh, make sure that any section you have done, then you can just check it off uh, at, uh, during your test, okay? All right. Anyway, so that's that portion. No additional marks, markings or writing may be placed on this list. You must name, point to, and or touch, and fully explain what you are inspecting each safety critical items, uh, critical items for. Okay, in other words, you have to make sure you talk about it, yeah? You have to point to it. If you do not do so, you will not get the credit for the item. So make sure that we do that, okay? Um, again, you are only required to inspect the items on the CDL vehicle inspection checklist, which is here. So anything other than these items, you do not need to talk about. Just for instance, like the door, possibly. Um, I don't see it on the list, so you don't need to set any of those items. You basically, again, focus on these items here. Okay, if this is passenger bus only, then you only talk about this additional. You're talking about a trailer, that's all you talk about. Okay, um, any lights or reflectors and stuff. So you just again follow based on this criteria that they're giving you, and you'll be good, good to go. Okay, um, uh, that's on this part. Now, if you are doing a class B or a C, class B or C. Of course, see, <laughs> we don't care. Class B, basically, the, for the straight trucks or other straight vehicles, then those are these items here. Again, the same way. You can check off as you are at your, when you're doing it, okay? Now, that's this one. So if you're doing just only for the B uh, passenger, as you can see, B passenger, so then you have to do all these here. Uh, make sure you do the study there. So what happened if you got class A and class A student and if you wanted to do um, a, uh, uh, to get a bus? Well, you have to do the whole thing. Doesn't matter. So it's a whole new truck, whole new car. I mean, uh, DMV looks at it the same way. So in other words, it's, uh, it's a different vehicle. So you have to do the whole 15 hours 
road, I mean, 10 hour uh, road and five hours uh, uh, the skills. So if you want to get, if you got class A endorsement and you wanted to add endorsement for class B, you have to do the whole, not your, the whole thing over again. In other words, a uh, new study, a new, uh, got a pre-trip inspection, uh, pre-trip inspection, the skills, the driving, all over, doing the whole thing again, okay? So, for the skills, it's gonna be different. So now skill, we're gonna do four type of skills. So four type of skill uh, seems easy, but um, let me tell you what happened here. So basically, you're gonna do a straight back. I mean, a straight forward, okay, straight forward. Now, when you straight forward to the clone where they add, you have to stop. Only one time stop. Basically, that's it. You're only allowed to stop one time. You cannot get out and look. You're just only allowed to go straight forward and stop right there. That's it. Okay? Now then, that's a straight back. Now then, that's for straight back. Okay, straight, I mean, straight forward. So, forward stop. So, forward. You, wanna, you have to stop within this three feet area here. That's for stop, for a straight stop. Now then the second part is after you stop, they're gonna have you pull up all the way past the cone. Then they're gonna have you straight back, coming all the way back, okay? And then you have to pass just like the way you have been doing the straight back right now. So pass the last cone. Afterwards, after you pass it, you stop there, all right? Then now then the uh, the third exercise that you're going to be doing is forward. Okay, so once you go forward, now then you're going to pull it out, and you're going to offset, pull it out here, and offset coming back, offset out. That's your third exercise. You're going to stop out there, up here. Right. So once you stop here, then you're done. Now then, the fourth test. Fourth uh, exercise is reverse offset backing. So you're gonna come all the way back into this position here, the way they have it here. And again, in the back, gotta make sure it's within the three feet. Okay, your DOT bumper within the three feet back here. Now, um, they have included with instructions, so which is helpful. They have added for the cone placement. So they're gonna t tell you which cone it is and where the locations are. So which this is helpful. So you know how to pull up and come back. Now, which is good. So, th so this, there's no surprises. And then back here, there's gonna be a cone skill dimension, right? Con uh, basic skill control. How do you come back? So basically you're looking at that uh, in terms of this, uh, the amount of spacing. Again, this is 12 feet. So it's not 14 feet, guys, 12 feet distance. So you're gonna pull out and come back in. Again, all this area here is like a wall. All right, so hopefully this is helpful. Um, again, this only applies to the Fontana DMV. So you will need to, um, if, uh, and this will tentatively right now, Next week, they're going to have a meeting, and tentatively, they're scheduling for July the 10th uh, in that time frame, which means uh, most likely all the lines here will, will be altered and changed, and um, we'll probably have more uh, able to examine or to test. So again, um, uh, no more alley dock, no more um, per se period even though you're going to be doing Perio, uh Park. Um, Alley Dock, basically, uh, when, when you go back, you're going to be within that three feet, like I have mentioned earlier. So those are the skills that's going to be effective. And um, that's for this DMV. If you still want to do the old way, the old type, and you're more familiar with that, then you might need to um, go to other uh, DMV for testing. Um, they might not implement at the other DMV yet. Okay, so that's uh, basically uh, for the, these news um, that it's gonna have. Um, again, uh, if you already got class A license and you wanted to, uh, to add the uh, B uh, for the bus, um, or carrying with the passenger, then you have to basically do all over. Um, 
and not doing all over, but then because it's different bus. So that means you have to do the skill. You have to take the uh, P, uh, P for passenger uh, endorsement and um, P for passenger endorsement. And also you have to do the uh, uh, inspection. Uh, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna do the skills and you gotta do the road driving. Um, minimum 15 hours uh, for to get a class uh, P endorsement. Okay, and that's a requirement from DMV, already. And since you're doing that, you gotta have ELDT as well. You gotta make sure you do get your ELDT and your uh, 1236 form, uh, which is done by the uh, trucking school. And feel free to contact me anytime. Um, uh, leave comment below if you like uh, our material and feel free to um, uh, like and subscribe. <laughs> You know, all those good things. Alrighty? And we'll see you soon, alrighty? Bye. Good luck. 喜欢我的频道, 关注点赞转发, 扫一扫我的个人联络二维码, 